Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2003 movie, The Jungle Book 2. Um, so, this movie, uh, follow, once again follows Mowgli, this time, uh, he returns to the jungle to spend time with Baloo, and his friend Shanti and his little stepbrother Ron Jen are also in the jungle looking for him. So there's like two little plots there, and everything, they're trying to find Mowgli, and Mowgli's uh, trying to enjoy his time with Baloo and stuff, but he's slowly starting to miss the man village and stuff too. He, he kind of w wants to be in both places, but when he was at the man village, his new dad wouldn't let him go into the jungle and stuff because he says it was too dangerous and stuff. Um, and also there's another subplot with Shere Khan wanting revenge. Um, this movie is actually not that bad. Compared to the other Disney sequels, that this was one that was originally going to be a direct-to-video sequel, but they felt like it had a good enough story that it could go to theaters and uh, and everything. And part of it, I think, was because of the voice cast that is uh, and everything. It has a, a strong voice cast in here. That, uh, Haley Joel Osment and John Goodman do the voices of Mowgli and Baloo in this movie, and I think they both did a pretty good job. Um, Especially Haley Joel Osment as Mowgli. I, I really felt like he fit the character really, really well. And he was one of my favorite kids grow, kid actors growing up. Because I always just... As, as a kid, it's always cool seeing kids in movies. And he was one that I always recognized from stuff. And I thought he was great as the voice of Mowgli in this movie. And John Goodman is one of my favorite actors. Blue is my favorite Disney character. So, um... I'm sorry if that was loud. Um, people are mowing outside my window. Um, but uh, Blue is my favorite Disney character of all time and stuff and John Goodman is one of my favorite actors of all time so mixing them together I had mixed feelings on because as much as I love John Goodman and he, he like I said he is one of my top 10 favorite actors uh, I, I gotta say that I'm mixed on his version of Blue because Phil Harris was so great as the voice of Blue. It's really hard for John Goodman to replicate it, but I think that he did a good job for the most part. Some of the writing in here also isn't the best. Um, there's parts in here where Blue is uh, really kind of uh, acting different and stuff like like it. Just you can tell there's a difference and everything with with the writing and everything, but it, it still works for the most part. There, there's this new uh, vulture in here, voiced by, by Phil Collins. Uh, I think his name is Lucky, and he, he's like always roasting Shere Khan. Every time we see a scene with Shere Khan, he shows up and he's like making fun of him and stuff from for the events of the first movie about, and all the vultures are like, Lucky, if you keep doing this, you're gonna get attacked and hurt and everything. And eventually, Shere Khan catches him and everything it's it's a lot of fun um and Shere Khan is voiced by Tony J who did the voice of Frollo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame and I think he does a really great job and everything he did his voice on Tailspin as well but I love him as Shere Khan in this movie he, he's really intimidating and creepy and he gives a really great voice performance uh, I prefer uh his voice work in uh Hunchback a little bit more and stuff just because that character is way more evil and stuff and he just did such a great job bringing him to life but he did a really great job with Shere Khan too and everything he, he sounded so much like the original guy that I, I honestly kind of just don't really notice that it's a different voice and everything and I think that everybody that they casted in this movie was spot on except for John Goodman um, I think that was the but casting Blue was going to be the hardest one to cast anyway. And since you couldn't get Phil Harris back, I think they did the bet, the next best thing with John Goodman. He, he, he really did bring life into Blue and brought made him really energetic and everything. And you could tell he was having a blast doing his voice. And everything you could just hear the enthusiasm in his voice when he's doing it. And I, I love that they. Uh, brought back bare necessities and unlike a lot of the Disney animated or the Disney direct-to-video sequels and stuff or even Return to Neverland which came out 
here before. Um, I thought Return to Neverland songs were okay and everything compared for one of these sequels and stuff, but I think this movie, aside from The Lion King 2, might have the best songs in a Disney sequel. Um, I, I love pretty much all the songs in this one, just like I did the first one. Um, you got uh, Jungle Rhythm at the beginning of the movie with Mowgli uh, get, trying to get all the kids to go into the jungle. It's a really fun song. And W-I-I-L-D with uh, Blue at, when they go to King Louie's old place to hang out with a bunch of party animals and stuff. They, they kind of have like a big party. It's kind of fun too and everything. They didn't bring King Louie back, which that, that's another thing that I kind of wish they, they would have. But I think Louis Primo was such a big name and stuff. They just didn't think they could replicate it and stuff. Um, and that's why they didn't do it. I'm not for sure if that's why he's not in it. But I think that is. Um, but I, I love the the WILD song. It's not my most favorite movie, though. Um, like I said, the animation is really good, though. It, it, it holds up really well, too. Well, they put a lot more care into this movie. Since it was going to theaters and stuff, you could tell that they were they were trying a little bit harder than they do with the do with some of the other sequels like Pocahontas 2 or uh, especially like the Beauty and the Beast sequels uh, they didn't really put much into the animation on Bell's Magical World or some of the other ones but this one they, they did try and everything and I felt like the voice cast was great and everything everybody was casted well for their characters aside from uh, John Goodman and Haley Joel Osment and May Whitman as the voice of Shanti and Tony J as Shere Khan. They're, they're the main ones that I know the names of that did the voices, but the guy who took over uh, uh, Sebastian Cabot's character, Bagheera the Panther, does a good job. And, and I kind of wish Bagheera would have been in this movie more. He was kind of sidelined in this one, but he was kind of sidelined in the first one, too. Once Blue came around, he was kind of sidelined, but um, I, I felt like he was in the movie enough and everything and I enjoyed this one I thought Shanti and Ron, Ronjin were pretty good characters and well, were nice little additions to the story and everything I thought they uh, fit in with the old characters really well and I love Lucky the the vulture though he, he just, just cracks me up with the the way he roasts Shere Khan he does all these really corny punny jokes and it just it cracks me up every time I watch it and everything and as somebody who's like a big big fan of puns and corny jokes and stuff it it works for me and everything and it helped make the movie a little bit funny and stuff too it added some good comedic relief and everything I think the Jungle Book 2 is a pretty solid movie um, it's not near as good as the first one um, but I never really expected it to be and when I did see it for the very first time I was so hyped I was a little bit disappointed but I wasn't so disappointed that I uh, that I hated it or anything and over the years it's really grown on me the nostalgia for this movie is starting to kick in too and everything has been out almost 20 years which is hard to believe I almost didn't have this video uploaded until the anniversary of when it came out but I decided to, to go ahead and just do it now um, but I, I love The Jungle Book too. I, I think it's a really good sequel I don't think it's like I said as good as the first but as far as these Disney sequels go this might be my favorite one uh, which ain't really that surprising the first movie is my favorite Disney movie so this one probably uh, uh, is my favorite sequel I, I don't know for sure though because like I said The Lion King 2 is really good and I don't know I can say that this one is better than that one but it's still a really good movie and uh, I really enjoyed it I, like I said I felt like there was a lot more care put into this movie than a lot of the other sequels and everything and it didn't feel like a rehash of the first one it did kind of repeat some elements of mainly the bare necessity song but that song is so freaking good it doesn't really matter if that they re they redid it because it kind of wouldn't be Jungle Book without it so that part didn't really bother me um, and everything so this movie I think is a it's a pretty good one 
everything. Uh, so I'd give The Jungle Book 2 an 8 out of 10. It's really enjoyable. I was going to give it a 7.5 and everything because it's not really necessarily needed and everything. It, it was made as a cash grab sequel, but I think that they put enough heart and stuff into the story and into this movie, and I love the characters so much that I, I think it even though it doesn't really have a good reason to exist, I'm glad that it does because it is still a fun movie and everything. And it's a good companion to the first one. I watched them back to back last night for the first time and everything. I don't think I've ever watched them back to back like that. And they go really well together and everything. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of the jungle book Two, And I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day, everybody.